hopefully we're filming. If not, then I'm in trouble. Hey y'all, Belle here, and we're gonna try something a little different today. So, there's a lot of, uh, what do you call it? There's all kinds of, where do I start here? This is a kind of, I'm telling you, this is different. I guess let's start with, so Rancid, my boyfriend, you guys know, went out and got me some things from Amazon, and one of those things is this Stuart Simple Black. And this is a paint, and it even says avoid skin skin avoid skin contact. It's non-toxic, but I really want to use it on my face. Don't do this. This is my disclaimer. I am not telling you to do this, not one bit. Don't do this. I'm gonna do this because I want to see what happens, and I'm gonna do a uh, skin test on this and see if anything occurs that is not um, not good. If that makes sense. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it. It looks fine. It smells. It smells like cosmetic. I don't know why the f Okay, anyways, moving on. Rancid also brought me some brushes and a lot of little cute guys. These are UV, wait, 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 UV glow paints. I'm gonna test a couple of these also just to make sure, especially the red. Yeah, especially the red. I think I'll just test the red and every everybody else should be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and test these products real quick and hope that nothing bad happens. The reason I'm doing this is because I really want to use this specific black as a cosmetic almost I guess if that makes sense. This is the blackest black that you can find. A super flat, super matte, ultra pigmented acrylic paint. Acrylic paint, which means you're not supposed to use this on your skin. There is no reason why anybody should ever use acrylic paint on the skin. I've looked it up, I've googled it, and the reason is because there's chemicals in there that you're not supposed to get on your skin because they absorb into your skin and then they eventually end up in your bloodstream and your system. All that kind of good stuff. So, highly recommend not doing this at home and if you do and something happens to you, not my fault. I told you not to do this. Okay, that's my second time using the disclaimer. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of these brushes. These are Art Pro brushes by Addies. I think I'll just pull out this nice little flat brush. That'll work, me thinks. I actually have to cut it open. That's nice. It's like they're packaged in the package and then they're all packaged individually also, which is really, really cool and cute. So let's do that. Nice. So this is, Damn, son, talk about your packed brushes, man. This is densely packed. It's really, really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Supposedly the, what do you call it? The skin on the back of your hand is very, very similar to the skin on your face. And we'll even see how black it really is. Like that's another cool thing that we can get to do. So I'm just gonna paint it on. Pretty much a uniform layer. Same thickness that I would lay down on my own face on my skin, which I will one day, God willing, if I don't have a reaction to this, because I want to make sure that I don't have a reaction before I put it on my face. That's one way that I'm going to do it. Let me get my mirror because I'm also going to put a little bit on my face in a place that if something happens and I have a reaction, it's going to be hidden. So I'm going to do it on this side of my face where my hair is, like way right here to see if anything happens. It's drying down a little bit, drying down pretty nice. The reason that we wanted this paint was because I really want to start doing more SFX stuff. And speaking of doing SFX stuff, this is kind of the point of this video. You should always test things on your skin on somewhere where it's not your face just to make sure that nothing is going to happen. This is the first step. You have to test everything that you're going to use. I'm going to get a little bit more just on the tip of my brush. Nice, nice. And I'll go ahead and just put that right here. Pretty discreet. If anything happens, it'll be a nice place where it can get healed and stuff and it's not gonna be like obvious that you somehow did something to yourself to hurt yourself by accident. I'll leave that like that. We'll see what happens when they dry down. Close my little guy, make sure he's nice and closed. I'm also gonna grab another brush for a couple of things actually. Little angled brush guy, open him up. I'm gonna try these little neon UV glow face and body paints. These should be perfectly fine. They are made for face and body. Hopefully I will highly recommend them, but you know, we'll see what happens. Oh look, they're nice and closed too. That's awesome. I love it when things come with like protective seals like that. Ooh, and it's already coming out. Oh geez, grab that little bit there. Oop, put this down because it's gonna get out everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that here. This is very matte. I wish I could wear this as eyeliner. That black is so awesome. Okay, and this one I'm gonna do it on the other side also just to make sure that we know nothing's gonna happen to us if we use this stuff, I guess, if that makes sense. Because you always have to be careful with these kinds of things, painting on your face and stuff like that. And I really wanna be careful this time because I've had a couple of reactions recently and I'm not even sure what it was to. Like that's the crazy part is I don't even know what I reacted to. I had really weird, like bumpy situation under my eye right here 
for like the longest time and it was really really annoying and scary and frustrating because I didn't know what caused it and I never found out is the other part I never found out although I will mention that I did burn the crap out of myself under my eyes one time and the way that I did that was by trying to use baby shampoo as face wash so don't do that. Also, I think that I was trying to remove my makeup with an alcohol. Well, actually, I think just with straight up alcohol. I think I tried to remove my makeup with straight up alcohol, so don't do that. It's very drying and super like not good for you to do that, so don't do that. You heard it here first. Does that hurt? Don't do that. No, and it, and it hurt real bad. Like, that's the other crazy part is it hurt super bad. It stung like real gotcha and I was like, oh my god. I thought I was gonna lose my eye for a second. Like, that's how bad it hurt. So, like Mikey says on Glam and Gore, do not put alcohol near your eyes. Just a bad idea. I'm pretty sure she already experienced some bad situations because of that. She's pretty crazy. She goes, she'll do anything, man. Like, she's really, she's legit. I like her. Quite an inspiration to me. Anyway, so these are our two little swatches. And I think I'm going to swatch another couple little thingies. So that'll be that. And then I wish I had a napkin. I think I have a napkin somewhere. Yeah, there's got to be a napkin in my trash can. Of course there's a napkin in my trash can, right? Pull a napkin out of your trash can. Most of these napkins are just water because when I wet my beauty blender, I always squish it inside of a paper towel just to remove any excess water that I don't want in there. So they're all just water paper towels. I'm going to get this Walmart Halloween bottle of blood and I'm going to test this too just in case because it's going to go on my face eventually. Might as well test it now if I can open it. It's nice that they're all sealed like that. It really is. That makes me feel so much more comfortable, especially when they're like bulk items like this and then they've been sitting around Walmart for God knows how long. Seriously, God knows how long because this could have been from last year and no one will tell you that. Like, you never know. God damn it, I can't open this thing. Ooh, I'm scared I'm going to... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I'm scared that I'm gonna end up like popping it all over my pants. I'm wearing like baby blue pants right now. Ooh, it looks scary. I like it. I'm just gonna pull this off. Here we go. Okay. Okay, and I'm just gonna tilt it. Ooh, it's cool because it has, that's super cute. I didn't realize that on the packaging it actually has, this is technically, it looks just like the bottle from a, a like a, what do you call it? Like motor oil bottle, which is kind of funny. How do I always end up like all the way down here? That's so silly. Okay, I'm gonna just tilt it like this. Oh, I almost spilled it. Jeez. Okay, I didn't realize how, how full this thing was. It's a really cool consistency. I also wanted to see what color it is, you know, like when it comes out. Ooh. I like this. This is nice. It comes out kind of the color of like all my Mexican chicks out there are gonna get this. It comes out the color of like chamoy, literally the color of chamoy. So it's really red, orangey. It's like almost watercolory kind of. When you have a bunch of it, ugh. I really don't know how to explain this. Okay, I got like a drop there. When the light shines through it, it's nice and transparent. When you dab it around, it looks really like gross and like sticky and viscous. Thing. I mean, it looks pretty bloody to me. It looks like kind of real. That's legit. I'm happy. I'm happy I bought this. $5 bottle of blood from Walmart during Halloween. Can't go wrong, apparently. So I'm just gonna leave that like that nice and dabbed. It'll dry eventually. What is it even made out of? Water and a bunch of other things that I can't pronounce. Red 40 and blue one. Okay, well, let's, that's about right. Grab a little bit more of this blood and I'm gonna put it on my face. I wonder if I can make it like a drop. Now I'm just being silly, but it's fun. So there's a nice little drop. How much do you need to put on for it to actually fall down? If I shake my head, will it start? Yep, a little bit. Nope, not yet. Okay, a little more. It's a little drop right there. Yeah, it's starting to fall now. It's always good to experiment, you guys, and just try stuff. You never know what'll happen. You never know what'll turn out or how it'll turn out until you try. Super fun. So I'm just gonna leave that like that, and I think that'll be okay. I'm really, like I said, just trying to test out these products and make sure that I'm not gonna die or have some kind of really terrible reaction. Actually, I just realized that might stain my face. I need to probably take that off because it's probably a, not a good place for it, and I have a work tomorrow, so I better not put that right there. Okay, so it doesn't automatically stain too much. That's good. So yeah guys, this is just a quick video. I just wanted to show you guys like experimenting with some weird new stuff that we're getting ready to start using on this channel, especially because it's pretty amazing. We've actually gotten to a new high in our journey as a YouTuber and this is really, really amazing and I can't believe it. We reached 300 subscribers. So you guys are like really, really, really awesome and you're just... Ugh. I, I can't even express, like I can't, my, my mind cannot wrap around the fact that we've grown so much in just a couple of months, oh my gosh, and it's just, 
it feels amazing guys like I, I cannot thank you enough is really part of it too I can't thank you enough because every single one of you every time you like every time you share every time you subscribe every time you comment it means literally the world to me because without you guys I have no channel without you guys I'm just creating content and enjoying myself but I really want to create a space for everybody to come and feel welcome and find some entertainment, some escape from their everyday crappy lives, you know, because everybody has problems and everybody experiences things that they kind of wish they weren't experiencing right now. And I hope that you feel like you belong and I hope that you feel happy here when you're here with me and I'm really happy that you guys are, you know, coming to visit me and still hanging out. So to all my little misfit monsters out there, thank you guys so much for taking a chance on an unknown kid and yeah I'm really really happy and proud that we are reaching new levels just leveling up guys we just got to keep on leveling up and the only way I get to do that is through you guys so yes I much 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 appreciate you guys so much that you could never even understand I hope that you could try like I think that you could try but I don't think you'll truly understand it until you do this and you're in my shoes and people are actually coming for your creations it means a lot guys it means everything so thank you guys so much for helping me reach 300 subscribers thanks for watching and we'll come back in a little bit and see how this turns out yeah right now it is I don't have a clock I'm gonna have to check what time it is on my iPad because I'm a weird guy and I don't have a watch I jeez it's all the way over here okay, okay so right now it is 320 I guess I'll leave this stuff on for maybe two hours so I'll come back around okay hold on it's 320 right now see now y'all are getting to see my math skills I'm terrible at math I'm actually good at math but I'm terrible at math at the same time I don't think that makes sense but don't worry about that I think I'll come back in I don't know I guess a couple of hours I shouldn't have this stuff on my face for more than a couple of hours anyway let's come back at like 520 yeah yeah 520 sounds good. We're gonna come back at 520 and we'll see what happens. Okay, and we are back. Yes, we're back and it is already about 520. It's probably actually 530 because I was making foods. I made myself some foods. This is gonna be delicious. This is a tamago, which is basically eggs prepared in a Japanese style with uh, dashi and uh, mirin and soy sauce and sugar and all the beautiful things and then you roll it up and you get me you gotta get a special pan for it and everything is delicious and I'm gonna eat it mm-hmm mm -hmm. yes one of my favorite things in the world to eat ever on the face of the planet anyways I'm gonna go ahead and remove this stuff and see how everything is we're gonna check for any kind of reactions any kind of anything like that by the way I actually ended up doing a couple of extra things I tested out oh geez I accidentally got that stuck in there that's pretty funny uh, well that's what happened to him sorry guys a little bit unorganized uh, of course as always anyway so I tried this right here I tried this other kind of the same thing right down here this is the black acrylic paint once again do not try this at home this is a black acrylic paint and this is the little orange guy that's over here and over here this blood from Walmart right there also right here mostly we're checking for staining on that glue stick and Cody air spun right there I don't think you can really see it because it's really close to my actual skin tone but I wanted to see how my skin would react to it before I tried blocking out my brows because better safe than sorry and everything else we're checking for reactions let's make sure that we don't have any reactions because that would suck especially if we get it all over our face so this is a baby wipe for sensitive skin and it has micellar water also soaked into it and I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove these things and see what's up the first thing I'm gonna take off is this guy here I'm sure not Nothing's gonna happen from that. It is made for your face after all, so I'm sure it's fine. Which it is, totally fine. Nothing wrong there. Let's see what happens if I take off the blood. I'm pretty sure, I, like one of the things that I was worried about is staining because I don't want my face to get stained if I decide to do some kind of weird bloody thing on my face. Bloody face, which will happen eventually. I know I have not mentioned this yet, but I am making a hard shift towards mostly makeup and SFX makeup on this channel from now on just because I feel like that's what I want to do and it's my channel and I can do what I want. That came off pretty good. Doesn't look like there's very much staining. Let's check this one because it's really, really thick there. It looks pretty good, guys. 
I looked good to me. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Next thing I'm gonna take off. I did a couple of swatches on my arm to see what would happen if I did use it. Excuse me. To see what would happen if I did use it with primer. And apparently if you use it with a silicone based primer, that's what happens. Good to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off. That was the Baby Skin Primer by Maybelline. So I am absolutely 100% not going to use this with that. The second one I used was the Wet n Wild Dewy Lumino primer and it seems like it's okay it could stayed on nothing's really it, it's it's good you know it's good so i could probably use that primer underneath just in case as a extra step in case i want to really really protect my skin which i do because my skin is a big priority i've been working on trying to get my skin clear as clear as possible for the past like two years and that seems okay so i mean no irritation it's a little red because i've been rubbing it but other than that it looks fine nothing really bad going on that's pretty good now let's go ahead and take off this little bit here like I said you may not be able to see it but this is the glue stick Elmer's glue stick and Cody airspun so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off next just to see how quickly it removes like because that was another thing I was really worried about like how do you remove the glue stick and it seems to come off pretty easily because I guess it's because it's washable so I'm sure water pretty much removes it 100% of the time okay so that's pretty good no irritation good job guys next thing here we're gonna go ahead and take off this guy which is the oops I dropped him, of course I did. Oh, and I dropped him again. Okay, my hands are real slippery. This is the next guy I'm gonna take off. Let's go ahead and do that. Probably real easy. Pink. Yep. Yep, like nothing. There it goes. And it's gone. No irritation. No staining. Que bonito. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of here. This was a, a little bit thicker layer, I believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take it off here and see how that goes. Looks like it's all good, man. Like, I'm really happy with this because I, I was a little bit concerned that these things were gonna stain me. Like, recently I've been getting stained by stuff and I really don't like that because if I get stained by something that I wear on Twitch or on YouTube and then I have to go to work in the morning, I'm like, dude come the f on you know what i mean so that looks pretty good no staining it comes off quite easily praise the lord okay so now here's the moment of truth right can you use acrylic paint on your face it says non-toxic but remember there is also the chemical makeup of the product itself and they always say not to be using it for that mm-hmm mm-hmm Man, I was hungry. Anyway, they always say not to be using it for this, but I really am the last person to listen to rules. I do also want to implore you not to do this, period, because I'm doing a disclaimer thing. I don't want anybody to do this. I am not a professional. That's another thing. I am not a professional. Do not do this at home. If you choose to do that, that's on you. I had nothing to do with it. Super. Now, the reason I do the disclaimer is because if something does happen to you and you do get a reaction because everybody's different, you cannot take my word for it 100% that this will not occur to you. So make sure that you do not do this, period. Don't do it. I told you, don't do it. If you do it, that's on you. Anyways, just trying to cover my own ass. Let's move on. Next thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and remove this and see what happens. Pretty sure it's gonna be fine, but I mean, you gotta try the things to find. Oh geez, my, oh, my earring thingy fell off. Oh geez, let me put that back on. Get back in there, buddy. Now you gotta stay there. Okay, let me move my earring. That's probably a good idea. Looks like everything's okay. It didn't stain me, so I think that's all right. Okay, so now the real thick crazy one, let's take this off and see how that turned out. One thing that I did need to mention, oh geez, is that, oh gosh, this is hard to get off. It's just really thick. One thing that I did forget to mention was that acrylic paint, when you use it on your face, which I've done before, it cracks. Like, cause our faces have so much movement that we don't even realize is there. And usually our makeup has to be like very nice and flexible. And that's what foundations and powders usually are. But acrylic paint is not meant to be on a medium that is not canvas paper or drywall. You know what I mean? Like, so since it's on a static surface, that's not going to move at all. It doesn't matter if it gets cracky when it it moves because it the surface it's on should not be moving all right so when you put it on skin it does crack like on this surface that I had if I did it like this and I made myself into a fist if I made my ball if I made my hand into a fist is what I'm trying to say if I made my hand into a fist you could see the cracks forming and then they would just lay there it was really dark it was really black and I liked it a lot so I'm probably going to use it for the things that I said I'm gonna use it for makeup like I said don't try this at home I'm always gonna say it because I don't want anything happening to you guys anyways guys so it turns out all these products work very well with me and I did not have a reaction and everything is Fine, so that's great I'm gonna get to use these things in the future and yeah always try things guys something that I'm trying to you know I'm trying to get at really is that always try things always test things out before you really you know 
go there with them and of course it's fun to go in blind and just try something and like go all out with it and just dive in but at the same time for the sake of time saving and for the sake of knowing your product and how it works I always would say to test them out that's why we swatch that's why we color match that's why we skin test things just like I did today we want to make sure that we have the best products for ourselves so Make sure you have the best products for you. Don't worry about everybody else, man. It doesn't matter if one thing works for somebody and it doesn't work for you, or if it works for you and it doesn't work for somebody else. That's totally fine. So make sure that you're testing your stuff. Make sure that you're always 100% sure of the things that you're putting in your body and on your body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you guys so much. You guys are making my life so much better and so much more fun by allowing me to have a space and enjoying coming to hang out with me and visiting me online, here with me, your friend Belle, doing all the things, and yeah. So thanks a lot guys for 300 subscribers. Thank you so much for being here and visiting me and taking a chance on an unknown kid. So yeah, um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit more SFX makeup as you guys can already see. I'm already trying out all the things. So yeah, I'm super excited and I'm gonna be revealing my new mascot for the channel. As you guys know, I have already shifted from calling us the Unicorn Fam to the Little Misfit Monster Fam and that is our new family. So I hope that you are okay with that and I hope that you enjoy being a part of this family because as far as I'm concerned, I'm just a little misfit hanging out in the world and I'm trying to find the rest of you guys so that we can all just get together, have fun, hang out and exchange ideas and learn from each other and escape our lives for a little bit and have our friends nearby. And something just broke in my kitchen, so I gotta go. Anyways, guys, I love you so much. Have a great night or day or whatever it is that you're having. And I will see you on the next one. See you later. Okay, bye!